Here's a quick example of using um, the Motion Builder Story Tool to create an ephemeral type rig situation. So um, if I create a character track and a story track, there's an option right here to um, allow clip creation to either extend a clip, so we create keyframes within the clip, or we can tell it to create a new clip for every pose. Uh, the nice thing is that you don't have to actually set a keyframe for anything. Um, the pose is stored and creates the clip all in one action. So, for example, if I were to go to uh, this beginning frame here, um, and I simply start to pose her, and grab the arm, like this, and we can grab the, the hands, you can see that it's created a clip. So now the next position, or the next clip is down here, and that's the T pose, so I'm gonna delete that. So basically it's gonna hold this clip in this frame until I move to another, another frame, and then I wanna key pose it. So let's say that I wanna simply um, start working on her flipping over, right? Do a, do a cartwheel style action. So here I've created another pose. So now I've got this initial pose and this, this next one. And in between here, I can, of course, break this down to start creating a different action. We'll release the rig. So now I've got multiple poses. and I can continue to update the pose. So now I'll come here, and I can just simply, you know, I can readjust the rig, of course, or I can use um, the rotate around tool, grab that, unlock the rig, and start to go ahead and put the character into a new position. It's beautiful animation, I know, but that's what you get. All right, so now I've got basically a series of lockdown poses, and I can readjust the timing, and I don't care about interpolation. I don't care what the rig's doing. Um, it's all just individual poses and clips, and uh, I can go on about my business animating. The nice thing is that if I do it this way, I can of course always um, bake this back to the, the existing timeline. So um, I can say uh, plot process to a new track and actually create animation from it. Um, plot whole scene to current take. So I can actually convert this into uh, actual um, keyframe animation. So now if I go to the F-curves and, and look at what my curves are looking like, I can convert this to a linear uh, traditional animation system, um, interpolated system for rendering or whatever else, but my entire animation exists as a series of individual clips that don't have keyframes, they're not tied to any rigging, and it's just simply driving um, the source skeleton. And as we know, the Motion Builder UI is completely configurable as far as how the rig works and behaves. So it pretty much creates a very uh, comparable system to the way Raph has his setup. I think you could also do this with the time editor inside of Maya. Um, although the time editor is a little slower, you can generate poses and work in a similar fashion.